G'day, it's Cameron here from Red Ark, and today we're going to show you how to easily and safely install one of our BCDC 1212Ts to a dump trailer. The BCDC 1212T is designed to charge your auxiliary battery on the go from the tow vehicle's alternator. It is compatible with seven-way trailer plugs and connectors to ensure an easy and seamless install into any trailer. It provides an optimum three-stage charging profile to ensure your battery is charged to 100% and overcomes variations in the alternator's voltage and cable drops. It is especially designed to draw no more than 12 amps from the trailer plug to make sure that not too much current is drawn through the trailer plugs and wiring. Just a quick note, if you don't feel comfortable doing the electrical installation, we have a long list of really great installers that we can recommend for you. But if you feel comfortable, let's get into it. For this install, you'll need the following parts and tools. Cable cutters, wire strippers, battery drill and drill bits, quarter inch bolts or 5 16 inch tech head screws or bolts to mount, zip ties, electrical insulation tape and heat shrink for neatness. You'll also need the Red Arc FK30 fuse kit and the Kit 19 battery diffuse holder cable, which are used to connect the BCDC 1212T to the auxiliary battery. For Australian specific install, you will also need an Anderson plug for external inputs. The BCDC 1212T is fully sealed, so protected against water and dust. It can be installed in the engine bay or on the trailer A-frame, but in a dump trailer, it's best to install it in the toolbox or the nose cone as they are as close to the battery as possible. Find a spot on the inside of the toolbox close enough to the battery so the cables can reach. Make sure the BCDC 1212T front panel is visible. Secure the BCDC 1212T to the inside of the dump trailer's toolbox in the desired location using the quarter inch bolts or 516 tech head screws. Next we're going to wire the BCDC to the dump trailer battery. First connect the black wire to a good quality ground. The ground connection point needs to provide a low impedance ground to both the start battery through the towing harnesses and connectors and the dump trailer battery grounds. Next we connect the orange and green wires. They set the charge profile in the BCDC to match the battery's chemistry. Please refer to section two of the instruction manual for the charge profile selection. In our case, it's a lead acid battery, so the orange and green wires are left disconnected, but we need to insulate them. Next, we connect the BCDC output charging brown wire to the dump trailer's battery positive terminal. We are using a 30 amp MIDI fuse kit to fuse our battery cable. Ideally, the brown and black wires should not be lengthened to minimize the voltage drop in these wires. If the 12 volt auxiliary power in the towing connection is permanently fed, meaning it does not isolate when the tow vehicle's ignition is switched off, then leave the BCDC 1212T's blue wire disconnected and tape it off. To maximise the auxiliary charging, you can connect the BCDC 1212T blue to the BCDC 1212T red wire. The BCDC will continue to draw down on the tow vehicle's 12 volt power. The last wire to be connected is the BCDC input red wire. This wire is 6 foot or 1.8 metres long, which should be enough to reach the 12 volt auxiliary power available on the trailer plug, or can be connected to a suitable point inside the toolbox if one is available. Once all your connections have been made, you'll need to test your installation is working correctly. Using a voltage meter, measure the dump trailer battery voltage before starting the vehicle. Start the vehicle and check that the charge profile LED is permanently lit. Check the battery voltage which should increase to between 13.3 and 15.3 volts depending on the state of charge of the battery. Last, make sure all wires are secured and can't be damaged. Congratulations, your installation is now complete. Thanks for watching our install today and as always if you have any questions always feel free to give our tech support team a call on the numbers below.